grateful uh, for those opportunities. Um, it is the case that uh, there are many people around the parliament and who are outside of the parliament now who uh, I have provided advice to, and that advice would go out while you're on top. Never become bitter, never stay too long. It's about time I took my own advice. Um, I, uh, I have enjoyed the speculation of the last eight to 18 hours or so. Uh, I seen yesterday I was a shock that I was going today. It's old news and apparently was expected. <laughs> and I noticed in the room, some of you have said, made both those remarks in the last 18 hours. <laughs> Luckily, Nicola is now the news story. Um, uh, but I want to make it very clear. I'm not leaving tired, sick or bitter. I'm leaving fit, healthy, and confident in the future of the government. Uh, I, uh, I was most annoyed to see the file footage of me that had me looking a little uh, on the heavy side. Uh, I think uh, uh, I made a decision that I would uh, try and leave as I looked when I arrived. I found that impossible, so I thought at least I could leave at the same weight as when I arrived. <laughs> um, but look, it has been, as I say, a tremendous honour to serve the government uh, and to be part of a Labor government. Uh, I enjoyed the challenges of immigration. It is a challenging portfolio, but uh, bringing humanity back to the portfolio and, and reform of skilled migration uh, were, were issues that I uh, took on and uh, am very proud of. In workplace relations, together with the Prime Minister, I was able to be part of the decision to uh, bring equal pay to female workers in the, uh, in the community services area, among many other workplace relations reforms of which I and the rest of the government are proud uh, and in tertiary education as the Prime Minister referred to uh, implementing the Bradley reform started under the Prime Minister opening up access to tertiary education for, for working class kids for indigenous people for children and migrants who quite frankly have been denied it in the past uh, too much of tertiary education participation have been determined by postcode and now that opportunity is much more broad. And so the work in tertiary education and skills has been very rewarding. Uh, it's one of the reasons I got into politics. And so to get a chance to be part of that in the Labor government has been, uh, has been great. In terms of the science portfolio, I just wanted to make the point, which is often overlooked in Australia, we have some of the best scientists in the world. We do world-class science and research here. And while I am a sports fan, it would be nice to see more focus on our achievement there and the people who are providing for that. And I was very pleased to be part of the, uh, uh, the decision when we won the bid to host the Square Kilometre Array. Uh, I don't think people understand the importance of that project and what it's going to do for Australia over the next uh, 40 to 50 years. Uh, so uh, I'd like to finish by... Uh, I'm, I'm mindful that uh, I don't want to do Rob Oakshaw. Uh, uh, <laughs> he was looking at me frankly. I'm, I'm a big fan of Rob's, but... Uh, uh, um, I'm going to. No, no, OK. Uh, but I'd like to thank my colleagues for the great support I've had. Uh, uh, Senate Leader, uh, I can't complain about the support I've had from any of the colleagues. I particularly want to uh, thank my staff. In this game, you're only as good as your staff. I've had great, uh, great support uh, from my staff, tremendously talented and loyal people. And I know Steve Lewis will write his column again about turnover, but one of my staff's been with me for 14 years uh, in, uh, through the good times and the, and the tough times. And I thank uh, him and, and the rest of the team for that. And, uh, and uh, finally, uh, I'd like to thank my family. Um, they pay an enormous price for your participation in federal politics, particularly from Western Australia. Uh, and uh, I can't deny that uh, their support's been critical, but that we have paid a price for me being allowed to pursue my career. Um, uh, can I also just thank the PM for her support? I've actually been someone who's believed for many years that the Prime Minister is the outstanding politician of her generation. I'm pleased to see uh, I leave knowing that the government uh, is in good shape. I would not have left if it wasn't. I would not have left if I thought it would do any harm to the party or the government. And I am uh, very confident of our chances of success at the next federal election. Thank you very much. Thank you, Julia. So announced that I am not intending to contest the next election and uh, accordingly have offered my resignation to the Prime Minister as Attorney General and the Minister for Emergency Management. Um, like uh, the Prime Minister has mentioned and like Chris, it's been an absolute honour and privilege to have this job, uh, to have the opportunity to deliver to the community, to be able to deliver on Labor values. And I'm very proud 
of what I've been able to be part of as a Labor government uh, in delivering on those things that matter to Australians. And let me say right up front, Prime Minister, how much I admire what you have made our government do for Australian families. And I really appreciate it that you understand the needs of mine. Uh, I promise that I would hold it together. It, of course, these are extremely exciting, important and very demanding jobs. And I have always believed, like Chris, that they're jobs that you do at 200%. And if you ever get to the point where you don't think you can do it at 200%, even if you're 190%, it might be pretty good, it's time to move on. And I have reached that point. I've uh, been in Parliament since 1998, uh, and a lot for me has changed personally in that time. Uh, I hadn't even met my husband. Uh, my daughter was a long way from being thought about. And if I, um, didn't, if I did contest this next election and run for a sixth term in Parliament, she would be starting high school before I might retire. Uh, and all of us need to make decisions about the right time to leave, uh, and I believe the right time is now. And I must say, Prime Minister, what was a very difficult decision was made a lot easier by the fact that the Labor Party does bat so deep. Uh, the Prime Minister has a wealth of, of talent and ability and enthusiasm to choose from uh, in replacing me and in replacing Chris, and I feel very confident that she has is spoiled for choice, really, on uh, people that can fill this role and take us to the election and successfully contest the next election. Like Chris, I believe that we can win the next ele election. Uh, I believe that we will win the next election. And Prime Minister, I believe that the community needs us to win the next election. For all those people who uh, rely on Labor governments to provide the protection of the NDIS, uh, to make sure that kids can get a proper education, uh, to make sure that they get the help into jobs, that they get dental care that's needed, your government is the only government the only team that is offering that. And that's why I believe, under your very tough and very wise leadership, uh, we will win the next election. And I will certainly be working very hard to make sure that that can happen. I am proud of what um, I've been able to be part of in the last five years. Um, I've only been the attorney for 12 months. Uh, I've had the wonderful opportunity to uh, of the Royal Commission. Uh, I've also had the great honour of being able to appoint two High Court judges. Uh, some people are attorneys for a lot longer than that and never have an opportunity to do something that is so important, something that really gets little attention but is part of good governing. And I believe uh, that the Prime Minister and our government has been governing well in making those and many other decisions. I'm also very proud of the work that I've done in the health portfolio. I held that portfolio for four years and we undersaw reforms that touched every part of the health system whether it was getting more focus on patients and frontline care, whether it was investing in infrastructure, whether it was putting more focus onto preventative health, uh, the tobacco battle being only one of those, but a focus that's an important one, uh, whether it's doubling hospital funding. These are things that make a difference to people's lives each and every day, and some of them will make a difference for decades to come. Uh, the sort of backroom uh, fixing that needed to be done in health in terms of how we finance health not really sexy for reporting, but fundamental for good government. And I'm very proud of uh, being able to deliver that. My own, we talk stuff, uh, staff and bureaucratic time, fixing issues that were simply neglected for the nearly four years that he was the health minister. As a local MP, I'm really proud of the work that I've been able to deliver. And uh, Prime Minister, because our electorates are so close to each other, you know the sorts of areas that I'm talking about. But when Julia and I were first elected, if you were a keen, young, bright student in the western suburbs and wanted to become a doctor, you could not stay in the western suburbs and do that. Now, at the time of my resignation, you can do all your training to become a doctor right in the western suburbs where the population needs you. And those investments, whether they're in childcare, primary school, high school, TAFE, university, are things that have really been a signature of the Prime Minister's leadership uh, both as the Minister for Education and now as Prime Minister, and the, sort, the sorts of things that I think as Labor people we can be proud of across the country. And whilst it's time uh, for me to retire from politics, I do want to say to the next generation that they should think about public service. It is an enormously rewarding opportunity to fight for things that you believe in, and particularly for women, I want to say that they should think about it. They can do it. It's been proved, and we need you. 
uh, and I hope that people will see this as an opportunity to think about moving into politics.